Good evening, kids. Welcome to Poetry Hour, also known as Cocktail Hour. I used to be a poet. I also used to be a bartender, and I actually taught at a bartending school. So I know far too much about how to make drinks, the names of drinks, and the ingredients in drinks. And if you are like myself during this pandemic and think that your drinking input has increased in volume through these dark days, I have just the poem for you. This is a love poem for alcoholics, also known as a drinking game. So if I say a name of an alcohol or drink or cocktail affiliated phrase that you know, take a sip and you just might be dead by the very end of it. This is called Last Call. She was the absolute, slender as a mimosa's flute, an ugly duckling that had bloomed into a gray goose. And I was a wild turkey at unhappy hour. Stiffer than a screwdriver, this boiler maker was an Irish car bomb kamikaze ready to blow. Bruised against the wall, down in the well, in comes this beautiful red zinger, blush of full-bodied burgundy, and I'm no simple syrup. Too many dashes of bitters, but to be Philly's blunt, I wanted to tap that keg. She was whistling like one kettle, and goddamn if she wasn't a top-shelf cosmopolitan, so I should have known she always comes with a twist. She had a gem already. This Christian brother at the bar already had the double vision to know that this red-headed slut would jack his Tia Maria. He didn't like my flair since the first turn of the wrist, but I could tell they were a little shaken and strained, so I came up straight with no chaser, bellied up to the bar, and I said, I can see you and your man are on the rocks. My name is Jameson. Give me a shot. She said, slow down, it ain't last call yet, and me and Jim got another round to go, and just because you looking at me like a tall glass of water doesn't mean that you get me wet. Well, I tried to be cordial, but it was a blast of liquid cocaine that mashed me muddled. I needed a tonic to clean out the stains of her aftertaste. She became the rusty nail in the shoe of this rum runner. I was a B-52 going down in flames, and that hot little hurricane sank Captain Morgan's relationship deeper than a depth, char depth charge bomb. So I said, adios, motherfucker, 86 this bitch. But she kept her tab open and hit me up for seconds. She gave her boyfriend a last call and cut him off. She had to run through a few Johnnies and Jacks to get around to this perfect Rob Roy, but now the coast was ever clear. I knew she was no old-fashioned sex on the beach, and I sure as hell ain't no slow, comfortable screw, but she only wanted to sail through smooth as a bay breeze for only one tequila sunrise when I wanted a slow sip, not just another shot for the road. And I could tell this Shirley Temple was a virgin that needed a top to tie her cherry in knots. Her fuzzy navel and silk panties were bottoms up in the moonshine. And I took a snake bite out of a Washington apple, poured it on with heavy hands until this white Russian laid across my sheets, frozen and whipped. It took a few weeks to ferment, but that was the night the ice melted. The night we popped the cork, and it's been a champagne supernova ever since. Now we have a highball together, and after hours it's nothing but screaming orgasms and slippery nipples for my hot toddy on the house. Now she wears my crown royal, so a toast to us. Because it doesn't take a bartender to know that all we always had half a shot to be more than just a double. Drinks up. Bottoms up. On the house.